Hey there, my name is David and today I'm going to show you how to purchase a reserved instance for a database in AWS RDS. I'm the guy behind Ghostboard.io, which is the ultimate analytics tool for the blogging platform Ghost. And right now I'm going to purchase one reserved instance for my software as a service. So let me share my screen and show you how to do it step by step. So log in to your AWS account and go to the RDS, the Relational Database Service, in the left menu. Click on Reserve Instances, then click the Orange Purchase button. So here we go. First thing, we need to choose the database engine, you know, whether is it MySQL, Progress, Aurora, or whatever. In my case, I'm using RDS Progress for Ghostboard. Second thing is the instance class, that's the type and size of the server. In my case, I'm sticking with the T4G small. This is a bustable server with a ARM CPU. And step three is the deployment option. If is it a single instance or a multi-AC. In my case, Ghostboard has a multi-AC deployment for high ability. And next point, selecting the term, how long you want the reservation to last. It could be one year or three years. In my case, I usually go with one year. And then at the end of the period, I ev evaluate if I need a bigger or a smaller instance. And the offering time, I'm choosing all upfront. All upfront means I'm going to pay all the costs right now, getting a better discount, and I will not pay for the database monthly. Well, I will pay something for the storage and the backups, but I will not pay for the database instance, not for the computation cost, I mean. You also have two other options, uh, partial upfront, so you pay part of it now and the rest over time still getting a, a discount and the second option is no upfront so you pay nothing today but commit to the full term getting an, a smaller discount but just be aware please if you go with no upfront and then delete the database later during the commitment you will still be charged for the full commitment so keep in mind one common mistake here is selecting more instances if you are using multi-AC. So remember, you don't need to purchase two instances. You just select multi-AC during setup and then select and then choose how many multi-AC reserve instances you want. This setting is not about how many physical servers are running behind the scene, but it's about how many databases with this exactly configuration you want to commit to okay and lastly you can write a name or tag for this reserve but this is optional in case you don't write anything later you will see the default name which is like a timestamp okay here is a summary of the previous screen with the total amount to pay right now if proceed um when clicking the orange button. So let's double check and if ev everything is okay, we can continue. And here you can see how many servers behind the scenes are included. Two, because I selected one multi AC. Yeah, I think everything is okay. Then click, it's done. In a few seconds, the payment will be done. As I mentioned before, in the first row, you can see an example of a default name. RA, which stands for Reserve Instance, I guess, and then a timestamp. If you click, you can check all the details. And that's all, guys. Hope it helps. Consider like this video and subscribe to follow me. Thanks for watching. See you.